Hello! So I just got in my Hirschner's order that I ordered last week and it came in yesterday. They shipped it out Friday so it really didn't take that long for it to get here and I'm quite surprised. So I have it right here. It came in this big bag which I wasn't expecting it to come in a bag. I was actually kind of expecting it to come in, in a box but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open because I haven't opened it yet. So Give me just a second, I will open it up and then we'll kind of go through it and I'll show you the two colors that I got. And yeah, so hold on just a second. Okay, so I went ahead and opened it and I have a bag of five of each color plus two that were not in, in bags because I only ordered seven of each color. So these two that I got out were already unwrapped. So these are just the ones I'm gonna show you. And the first one is this. I can get it to focus in. It's Soho. That's what it was. It was Soho. I could not remember for the life of me what the rest of that was. It's Soho and it's called Tranquil Tweed and this is their color lavender. It's the blue. Lavender. There we go. I was gonna say I couldn't get it to like focus in and it is so it says it's 98% acrylic and 2% viscose and it's got 230 yards per skein. You can machine wash it. It says to dry flat though so you aren't really supposed to put this in your dryer which is fine. It's a medium four weight which I mean it feels feels like a four weight. I mean it feels like a four weight if I can Get my face out of the picture here maybe. The camera doesn't like to focus very well but it, it looks like a four weight. Maybe a little bit thinner. Maybe I'd say it's a thinner thinner four weight. It's definitely definitely not like red heart thick but it it's a, I'd consider it a four weight a thin four weight and it says that you can use a four millimeter hook. I think that's a G in US sizes. G-6 is what it's saying. I don't, again, I don't understand US sizing for hooks. I don't know why we use letters instead of the actual size. I don't, I don't get it. But it was made in Turkey and it was just distributed by Hirschner's. But it is Sorry, my eye itches. It is the Soho Tranquil Tweed and this is the lavender and it's just so pretty. And it's actually, it doesn't feel that bad. Like I can't, it doesn't feel terrible when I hold on to it. It doesn't really feel super soft, but it doesn't feel itchy. You know, like I don't, I'm not holding it and going, ew, I wouldn't want that on my skin. Like I can touch it and it's, it's definitely, softer but it's not super soft but that's okay and I love the little flecks in it like little flecks of black brown and tan it looks really good on the lavender and then I also got it in the gray same brand same type just in gray everything about it's exactly the same it's the uh, acrylic and viscose in gray and I was thinking about doing a cardigan with it like just a, a small regular cardigan in tweed because I've never done a tweed anything. I've never used tweed or f flex, a, the little flecky yarn. Some people don't call it tweed. And uh, this one doesn't have as many browns in it as I'm looking at it. The flex are mostly like white and black. They're kind of hard to see on the camera but you can see like little black and white flex. There's not as much brown I'm not seeing any on this one. There might be on some other ones, but yeah, this one's mostly black and white flex. Whereas this one is the one that has the brown very prominent, which I like. I think it goes good with the, the lavender. And I thought these two colors together would just make a really, a really nice light colored, cute cardigan just together. I think it, they would look really good together. And you could totally make them separate and they'd still look pretty but... So 
That was my Hirschner's haul. That was all I got from Hirschner's. They were a dollar a skein and I got seven of each. So $14 plus the tax and shipping. I think I paid a total of Twenty something. I'd have to actually look. I wonder. Hold on. I can probably check and see if they sent me a receipt. I don't know if they did. Da -da. Yes. Okay. So altogether, I paid twenty five dollars and nine cents for the whole order. So it was fourteen dollars for the skeins themselves. Nine nine dollars and forty five cents for the shipping and handling. A dollar sixty four in tax. So that was actually, in my opinion, a deal that I could not pass up. That was a really good deal for that much yarn. And you have to remember these are 230 yards of skein, I think it said. Let me double check. Yeah, 230 yards or 210 meters. So 230 times 14. <laughs> that was a lot of yarn for $14, especially since some balls of yarn that you get can be like eight, nine, even $10 or more a skein. So. I thought that was a really good deal. And I'm really happy that I, I do like the feel of it. Like I may not want to wear it directly against my skin completely, which is why I said cardigan instead of like, you know, a regular shirt or something, but it's something that I could have on my arms. So I could definitely have a sleeve made of this and it would not cause me discomfort, which I really like. And I think that might, might be to the little tiny bit of viscose that's in there, but it is, it's not bad. It's not, overly crunchy, it's soft, it's squishy. It'll make a great cardigan. And I just have to figure out what I want to do with it pattern-wise. Because <laughs> I know I want to make a cardigan, but I have to figure out what I want to do pattern-wise. Which, speaking of patterns, I think I m maybe have figured out what I want to do with my dragonfly yarn that I got from Loops and Threads. Y'all, there is a dragonfly stitch. I just found this out after I bought this yarn. There's there's a stitch and it's a dragonfly stitch and it's a crochet fillet stitch. I believe they call it fillet and it's beautiful. And I have an idea in my head now that I kind of want to make a pullover and I want to make it in sections. So I, I want to have like a black section and then a dragonfly section, etc. And with the dragonfly color, I don't know if I want to put the dragonfly stitch into the color or into the black, but I do know that I think I want to make the top portion and the back portion of the pullover having little <clears throat> little dragonfly stitches along the, the top and I think that would be adorable using the yarn called dragonfly so I'm gonna test it and I'm gonna work on it and I'm gonna see if I can make it work so we will see how that turns out but I have an idea for this now so if I if I can make it work I will share what I did and maybe like show you kind of how to do it yourself, but we'll see. I gotta, I gotta make it work first. So fingers crossed, but yeah, that's what I did. That's what I got. I just wanted to show you guys my Hirschner's haul, which it wasn't a lot, obviously. I mean, it was a lot, but it wasn't a lot, like a lot of different types of yarn. It was just those, those two colors. And I'm really excited to make myself a little cardigan for, you know, hanging around the house in because that's what I do with my cardigans. I just, they're like romp around the house things. <laughs> so yeah, that was all. And I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day.